In this video, I'm gonna talk about Microsoft Outlook versus Apple Mail and which is better for you. So, in this video, I'm gonna present pros and cons regarding each of these services so you can choose accordingly to what better suits your needs. So first, I'm gonna present the pros and cons for Microsoft Outlook and then the pros and cons for Apple Mail. So, Microsoft Outlook is feature rich. It offers a wide range of features, including powerful search, rules, calendar integration, and advanced security. So not only will you be able to manage your email, but you can also integrate your contacts, you can filter specific subjects, and it makes the process of integrating all of your workspace into one application or one service very simple. Of course, it is cross-platform compatible, so you can use it on the Windows, Mac, iOS, and also your Android device. It is good for business use because of the reasons that I listed, because you can integrate Office 365 and Teams. So for professional workflows, everything is going to be included into one service, and it is extremely customizable. The cons include the fact that it can be complex. If looking at these screenshots, such as this one, the interface throws you off, it could be due to the fact that it is slightly overwhelming for new users compared to the Apple Mail simplicity. So the ease of use could be a factor to consider even besides all of those features that I listed. It is a paid service, so it is going to require a subscription for the full feature set. While it is possible to use the Mail service for free, there are a lot of stuff and a lot of features locked behind a paywall and it can be resource intensive. So running this on the background at all times, if you have a lot of incoming messages, could be a hassle. For Apple Mail on the other side, it is completely free. It is going to come pre-installed on Mac devices and iPhones or iPads. It is more simple and user-friendly, like I mentioned, compared to the feature bloat you could say of Microsoft Outlook and the seamless integration with the Apple ecosystem makes it a good offer for someone who already uses other services from Apple. Tightly integrated with other services such as iMessage, FaceTime and Calendar means that you will be able to import all of the details, all of your messages, all of your events directly into Apple Mail. With a clean and minimal interface, it is a joy to use. The cons include the limited features compared to Microsoft Outlook. Like I said, the filtering features, the professional workspace, everything is tightly packaged into one service and Apple Mail is much simpler, which it could be a pro, but also a con if you need those extra features. It, is, it has fewer customization options. So if you don't like the default look or the way it functions, you won't have much wiggle room in the way of changing this. And finally, it, it is not ideal for business use. If you are a single user, you may get better mileage out of this, but for big companies, this isn't the application that they should be considering. I hope with these pros and cons, you will be able to come to a conclusion on which one is better. Usually Outlook is listed towards people who want feature rich services and they need to integrate it with other Microsoft services such as Teams or Office 365 and they can handle the big features and feature workflow available in there. And Apple Mail is more intended for singular users who are already into the Apple ecosystem to begin with. I hope I was able to help you on Microsoft Outlook versus Apple Mail and which is better. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.